Right, my name is Wendy Emmett. I'm a member of the Venezuela Solidarity Campaign in the UK and I'm also a member of the Communist Party of Britain. Um, and I'm here in Venezuela alongside the uh, comrades from the United States and Ireland on this uh, Seed Sovereignty delegation, bringing seeds for the farmers uh, in order to help to alleviate the uh, impact of the blockade and the reduction in the importation of food. Um, so I came to Venezuela 10 years ago as well and I was very interested to see what the differences were. Uh, to be fair, uh, I was expecting the situation to be a lot worse than it is here. The media, our media in the UK um, is virtually 100% very negative about Venezuela, very, very negative about Venezuela, and uh, we don't hear any positive stories. I think if you believe the media, you would think that everybody was dying on the streets. Clearly, that isn't the case. We have, of course, seen poor people and people who are struggling, but people who are very, very, very resilient. One woman yesterday said to me in one of the barriers, she said, nobody goes to bed hungry we can't it's difficult but nobody goes to bed hungry and i was quite moved by that um, so we went to the countryside and we spoke to farmers uh, who were growing food and then the food is brought on the pueblo a pueblo in the pueblo a pueblo project into the cities including caracas of course um, fresh vegetables which will supplement other food that the people get from the CLAP program, for instance. Um, it's very lively. Caracas is a very, very lively city. People are going about their business. People are enjoying themselves. Clearly, it's not easy. There's shortages, massive shortages. One of the farmers told us there were shortages of seeds and of machinery parts in particular. Uh, that were causing problems for him to develop and to actually make a bigger contribution. But actually, the three million hectares that are farmed by, uh, by cooperatives are much more productive than the 44 million hectares uh, that are privately owned by big, wealthy private landowners. And I think that says something. And if those landowners could be included in part of the food production program in, in uh, Venezuela, that would be very useful. So what I have to say is keep on fighting and viva Venezuela.